Hi guys, my name is Craig, this is Gadget King Reviews and today we're going to be talking about these things, yes, the new solar power banks and what you can expect from when you buy one and if you should buy one. Stay right there, full review is coming up right after this. Hi guys, welcome back. My name's Craig, this is Gadget King Reviews. Before we go any further, can you do me one big favour? Subscribe to this channel. If you like the review, then give it a big like. And if you press that bell, bell button, then you'll be notified of when more videos and more reviews come up. Because there's going to be a big one soon when I can show you how I get these sort of things for 90% of the retail price. And that'll be when you know how you can get lots of gadgets for more or less next to nothing. Now we've got a 10,000 milliamp hour solar power bank and we've got a 15,000 milliamp hour solar power bank. So they both do the same things. They've both got two USB chargers at the top so you can charge two items in one go. So when your girlfriend or your friend is arguing that they want the power bank, they can charge their item up with the power bank at the same time. Now. These have had a lot of criticisms over the solar panel itself. What people are criticizing them for is that they think they're gonna get a full charge from 0% in the space of a couple of hours, like you would if you were using a normal power bank. Now, as a normal power bank, if you charge it up in the house, it's an excellent power bank. They're rugged, they're better than these little skinny slimline things that you get. They have lots of little extras that them skinny little slim lines ones don't have. They have a torch, so if you don't have a house torch, you've got one in your power bank. Now, if I was going camping and it was a choice between this power bank and one of my old power banks, I'd take this one over my old one any day. Now, what you need to do if you're going to be going camping or hiking or trekking, whatever you want to do when you're going outdoors, is charge it up fully before you leave the house. And then you get a little clip with them. Some people complain about them as well because they feel a little bit flimsy. But me personally, I'd put a little bit of rope around that, a little bungee. And when you got it on your rucksack, then it'd just be bouncing away and it's not going to fall off or you're not going to lose it. But if it did happen to fall on the floor, they are built pretty rugged. So it will take a couple of knocks. And unless it landed on a pointy rock, I can't see the screen like the solar panel breaking very easily. Now, what I like about this for when you're going camping is the fact that it does have a torch with it. So the torch is just a normal torch, pretty powerful, I don't want to shine at the screen, but you can have like flash, and then it'll flash really fast. Now, if you got separated from a group, or you were, I don't know, lost somewhere, and you needed to get the attention of passerbys, or a car I'm sure that flashing light will definitely grab their attention and like I say when you're out camping what you would do with this is like I say fully charge it up at home leave it outside the tent when you're out camping so it tops itself up so if you use it let it top itself back up all the time don't put it away then get it out and think it's going to charge up straight away because it's not going to do that like, I don't think we've got that technology yet where this size solar panel is going to be charging this thing which will take a little bit of energy to charge up and you've got to understand that on your roof of a house these things are a lot better on there than they are on here and they don't even produce that much electricity so why would you think this would produce enough electricity to charge an iPhone in the space of a couple of hours it's just not going to happen but it will do an immense top up of a phone. If you needed 5% on your phone and you were stuck out in the wilderness, would you rather have an empty normal power bank or a solar power bank that's charging up that's going to give you the 5%? I know which one I'd rather have because this can give you and it could save you in certain situations so you can make that emergency phone call if your phone dies on you out in the field. So that's why I would prefer this one over a normal power bank because it does exactly the same as a normal power bank it's got the torch with it 
and it's got the emergency solar power. Now, I go camping, I go hiking, so I know for a fact that this is really a godsend, especially if you were going camping or hiking somewhere where you could get lost. Now, that flashing torch is going to be a help just to try and get anyone's attention, but the fact that you can actually put it out in the sunlight and get an emergency charge, well, that's a lifesaver in could be if it saves one life then these have got to be a good thing though but like i say do not be expecting miracles from the solar panel that's not these don't work like that i think they're more of a top up to your already charged power bank or the emergency charge power bank now like i say this is a 15,000 amp hour but you can get them like i say all the way up to 26,000 milliamp hour and you might be able to get them higher now i'm not really sure but i've used this and i've charged my iphone two and a half times off one full charge i think it was full charge anyway but all these little lights are charging like the charging now and that's off the house light so in the sunlight and if it was probably a really odd day you probably would get a good charge if it really was because it's black it's going to attract the sun and you're going to get a decent charge but you'll also get a charge if there's no sunlight out, but it won't be as much. But if you've got 3% to make a phone call, is that not better than nothing? Because I think it is. So, yes, guys, they're rugged, they're waterproof as well. They can take a lot of water on them, because if it rained, they ain't now getting through that. I don't, wouldn't like to shot it in the river like, but if you dropped it in the river, I bet you could pick it straight back out, and there'd be no water inside of it, and it'd still work. So that's my review of the solar power banks. They've got extras that the normal power banks don't have and extras that can save your life in certain situations. And if you like camping and you like hiking, then this is the, this is the type of power bank you want. Not this one specifically, but one like it, you can go on Amazon. There's thousands of them or hundreds of them on there. And eBay, read the reviews, find the one you like. And um, all the people are putting up reviews that are unbiased. Look for verified purchase. And you know they've bought it outright. Paid the full price for it. And they're not going to lie about it. Me, I got these for 90% off retail. And that's another video. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get lots of tech for next to nothing. And how I paid, I think, £4 for this power bank. And I think I paid around about £2.50 for that power bank. And I'm going to show you that in an up and coming video. So press that bell button if you want to be notified of that. That's my review guys. This is Craig. This is Gadget King Reviews. Signing out. Be safe out there. Take care of loved ones. Bye now.